63% of Americans consider home organization to be a key factor in reducing stress, but life can get overwhelming as we know, and with everything we all have going on, decluttering our homes can be pushed to the back burner. But here to help us get a handle on home organization and turn it all around is professional home organizer, Kendra Littlejohn. Welcome to Live at Nine. Thank you for having me this morning. You have really transformed our space here. I am so excited <laughs> to get into this. Just a little sample. Okay, why, why is organization so important for us? Well, like you said, uh, organization is clinically proven to reduce stress and anxiety. Um, it gives us a boost in mental, um, capacity it gives us the space to do what we love and you know it, it helps us to enjoy life and not trip over things and not trip over things of course yes. <laughs> i bet you can't watch those uh hoarder shows i bet you that gives you you just okay yeah. moving on to the real stuff so <laughs> what what do you do as a professional organizer so what i do is i come into the home i help assess the the needs of organization um most of the times it's deep purging is is where we start without wow. purging it's hard to get to the actual organization piece of it so that's always the most crucial step in any project is to start with the purging all right let's get through what you have going on up here all right so what what i see the cleaning items and all i mean do you separate it by category how does it work so i love to zone things oh zone yeah so we zone things into categories your cleaning supplies your 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 kitchen and pantry then you have your closet items and things of such and so yes zoning is also a very crucial part of the organization process all right what is the specific technique that you take while you're going into each zone to get it together so the first thing we do again is do the purging purging and then we sort and categorize everything that is going to remain in the space. And then we find the space, the home that they will live in that makes the most sense for the client. It's not one size fit all. It doesn't look the same for every client. So we do what's best for the client, their lifestyle and their family. Okay, we have a picture here of some items under a sink. Yes, what? this is under the sink and we only use two products to organize that after we purge it. And then we moved to the pantry where we only used these bins and we went back to the Lazy Susan turntable. This is really the star of organizing. Lazy Susans? The Lazy just... Susans <laughs> and the turntables. There are so many different uses for them. We use them under the sink for cleaning supplies. We use another version of them for, oh. for cooking. Um, and so Lazy Susan means that it, it rotates. It rotates. Oh yes. my goodness. It rotates. I mean. So you're not reaching to the back of the right. cabinet. And then you keep moving. Oh and goodness. knocking things over, right? See, or you're hitting turning. your elbow on things. See? Right. Yeah. <laughs> see? No, but um, that's amazing. And so, okay, we saw some of the pictures from um, under the sink. We saw the pantry, and then you also say that the closet has a closet technique. has what do a we technique. Do with the closet. So it really depends on the framework that the client already has, mm -hmm. um, and then we work around what the client has. But two of the things that I absolutely love in a closet is streamlining, is um, matching hangers and shoe boxes. It just brings a whole new look to the closet. And so here we have hangers, and on this side we have the drop front shoe boxes. Just makes the shoes more accessible. Okay, and also, um, so Reggie is one of our crew members, and he said these are <laughs> great hangers. Yes, <laughs> he vouches for <laughs> these hangers. <laughs> what is it about them? Um, I mean, does that help with the organization? Well, uh, they're much thinner than a wooden hanger um, or less bulky than a plastic hanger. They're more aesthetic pleasing than a wire hanger that you, that you would get from the cleaners and so that just gives your, it a very clean look right and your shirts don't fall off because your shirts don't fall off traction. they don't slide exactly they're velvet so um, they don't slide okay yes. okay and so if people are struggling to do this themselves um, how do they get in touch with you what's the process so you go to my website www.organizedbykendra.com and there you can um, click the link to schedule a virtual consultation is which is how we onboard all of our clients and we go from there and how long does it usually take I, I did this once and so it was just like it was fascinating and I realized that my closet was 
um, needed to be reconfigured. Mm -hmm. Do you do things like that? Like yes. reconfiguring? Like, yes. I mean, this was actually putting in new hanging mm -hmm. poles and mm -hmm. stuff. And, that's, and that goes back to what I said about the framework. So it all depends on the framework that's already installed. Sometimes we need to change it and tweak it. Sometimes we need to start over from scratch. Real fast, let's look, let's read through this. Define your goals. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just wanted to read through that. Um, but define your goals, start small, purge first and organize, and then you say establish practical systems and habits. Yes. And then then that's when they call you. If all is fails, call you, a professional. What happens if it's a really, really, is it, have you ever gone into a scary situation? Like, you know, where it's a lot of mess? Yes, absolutely. I've gone into situations where I thought I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it actually, but actually did and came out, you know, feeling on top of the world, but sometimes, yes, there are projects that are challenging, even for a professional organizer. All right, organized by Kendra, B-O-K, and contact Kendra if you don't want to do it yourself. Yes. Thank you Thank so you so much. much. Ooh, we need 